This is the war that we have to fight. And this was not a war that we started. When you pray to God, you tell him, Lord, I didn't start this war. Lucifer started this war. He took over our leader, Adam. So Adam was destroyed by Lucifer and he brought us into sin. Sin is condemned in the flesh. Now you're at war where you want to be or not. You must fight a good fight and you must war a good warfare. Now Michael and his angels kicked the devil out of heaven. It's strange how spirits fight. There's no death. There's no bloodshed. They fight in a spirit. I've seen them fight. It's like light hits each other. And it's power. They move one another from one place to another. Now, Lucifer controls you. He'll get in you and control you. God don't do that. So you have an opportunity with God. You can obey God according to your will if you love him. But you don't have that choice with Lucifer. He'll make you serve him. And even people, when you hear my message, the Bible's an idol, the Bible's the mark of the beast, and you believe it, Satan will attack you. He'll paralyze you on your bed. He'll throw you out of the bed. He's afraid, see, he's losing people when this word comes down because Satan controls people with the Bible. Satan controls through the flesh and God controls through the spirit. You must remember this. you got to fight a good fight. And we will win if we'll stay out of the flesh and out of natural things. Satan controls with money and with the things of the world. And it's so easy to get people today. There's so many flesh things. Only a few Holy Ghost people are left in the world today. Bibles are Satan's greatest tool. He uses the Bible more than anything else. So realize that you're in a battle. Now you get to make the choice. You get to either choose the flesh or the spirit. Satan controls you in the flesh. You want the house. You want the yacht. You want the Rolex watch. You like to drink. You like the drugs. You want The flesh is your God. You, your belly is your God. And you want to live after the flesh. Or you'll lose. Now remember this. <clears throat> when Satan came down, he brought a lot of angels with him. And he plants seeds. He goes around planting seeds in people. He makes them Baptists or Catholics or Pentecostals or Jehovah's Witnesses or Mormons or Church of Christ or Seventh-day Adventists. He'll make them something like that. He plants seeds in you. Jesus plants seeds and makes Holy Ghost people out of you. You'll only be a Christian with Jesus. So I'm teaching you this so you can war a good warfare. Satan said, I'm going to be like the Most High God. And he is. He rules the world now. We don't have one Holy Ghost church. He killed off all of George Fox's people. He killed off all the Gnostic people. And all we have left, this is the only voice of God on earth today. This is the only word of God on earth today. Me and a few little Holy Ghost children, we tell you the Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. And you could be controlled by the flesh if you want Satan. You can be controlled by the Holy Ghost if you want Jesus. Now this is his war. And you're supposed to fight a good fight. You're supposed to Keep the faith. You're supposed to war a good warfare. And God's going to come and destroy this world. He'd lost this world if Jesus hadn't come and saved us. So he's done a lot to save us. God fought for us. Now he's going to take all them that don't love him and put them in hell. He's going to destroy Satan and all of them because he's won the war now since Jesus raised from the dead. But today people don't even know there's a war going on. So wake up. And serve God in the spirit because this war is going to be a, an eternal war. So praise God, honor him, love him, and fight for the fight of faith. Faith is Jesus talking to you and you hear his voice. Sons of God.